Hello everybody and welcome back to another Sony Vegas Pro 15 tutorial. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to use Sony Vegas' built-in transitions. Of course there is ways to make much better transitions and much more professional transitions, but I just want to start with the basics on this tutorial and show you how to use the basic transitions. So first things first, like we do on all videos, it's time to import the footage. I'm just using these two random clips here, and I'm just going to drag them straight onto the timeline. I'm also going to set the project video settings to match the media settings. I'll show you two clips here quickly. One of them is of the time bridge. And the other one is just a bit further down the river Tyne, showing some water fountain stuff going on, as you can see there. Now first I'm just going to trim these videos down to how I want them. I'm just going to take a little bit off the beginning of this, a little bit off the end of this. And for this video I'm going to cut this here and delete the first bit. And then I'm going to cut it here and delete the end bit, just so I have this little bit of the fountain here and nothing else. Now, to start with the transition, you first want to have your two clips right next to each other so they are touching frame by frame, which means if you were to play them, they would just go straight into each other, like this. As you see in there, it just went straight into the other one. And what you're going to do, you're going to click over here where you see your project media and stuff. You want to click on transitions, and then here you have a list of all the transitions you can use. Now, bearing in mind, I probably will have more transitions than you do. This is because I have got extensions and add-ons. But I'm just going to use one of the built-in transitions here, linear wipe. So if you click on a transition, you can see on the left, they usually have a lot of presets and different settings for the transitions, so you can choose which one you want. And to add the transition to the video, you simply click on it and drag it to between the clips. When you let go, you'll get a little bit of a menu here with some options and stuff. I'm just going to close this for now. If you want to play around with the settings and stuff, you can do that. But I'm just going to show you how to adjust the length of the transitions because, of course, each transition has different effects and stuff, and I'm not going to go through every transition. If you want to play around with them, then you can do that. Even me personally, I haven't gone through all the transitions in Sony Vegas and played around with the settings. But just closing this, we're going to have a look at this straight away. You can see the duration of the transition here. It's illustrated by how long this bar is. So I'm just going to play it so you can see it. So there, as you've seen, it just wiped across the screen. To change the length of the transition, you can literally just drag here and drag here and adjust it accordingly. And then when you hit play again, you can see that that's a much faster transition. We can make it even shorter here. And that's just a really quick wipe. I'm going to click on another transition here just to give another example. So this time we're going to use the flash transition, which I have not actually used personally. So you can see a bunch of the presets here. I'm just going to go with the default one again. I'm going to drag it on. I'm going to drop it. And we can see the transition has changed to flash here. So that means when we'll play it, it does the flash transition. I'm going to make this one a bit longer. There we go. That looks a bit nicer. So on screen now, I'll quickly be showing the two transitions you've just seen. Feel free to mess around with the transitions, that's the best way to learn, just get in and mess around with all the stuff. Personally, I learned a lot of stuff in Sony Vegas by just messing around, having fun and seeing what stuff does. But that is going to be where this tutorial is going to end as well. So thanks for watching, remember if you want to check out my main content, my main channel link will be on screen. If this video did help, then be sure to like the video and share it. Also subscribe to this channel for more tutorials, and I'll see you in the next video of whatever I make.